Hello Matrix and welcome again. Today what we're going to be doing is finishing off our accepted reasons for triangles. So I want to look at equiangular triangles to begin with. We did a video proving that if triangles are equiangular, their sides are in proportion. So if you want to check out that proof somewhere in the video now, I'm going to put a link so that you can click on that and you need to learn that proof. So uh, it is examinable. All right, let's look first at equiangular triangles. So we've given two triangles, ABC and DEF, they have equal triangles, so uh, equal angles. So we see VE, AD, and FC correspond to each other. I've done uh, it in color, so pink, pink angles are equal, yellow are equal, and green are equal. So what can we say? Well, we can say from that theorem that we did that AB, so yellow, pink, yellow green, AB over DE, yellow green is, is proportional to, and then we say AC over DF and uh, B, this is going to be uh, BC. And let's just change this to BC. BC over EF. All right, so those, uh, that is what you can say if you're given that uh, you're given similar triangles. So often you'll prove triangles are similar by, by getting all three angles. You only need two angles because if you get two angles, then obviously the third angle will be equal because all triangles, the sum of the interior angles sum to 180. So your final reason when you do similar triangles is uh, sum of angles in triangles. So. Um, I'll probably do a video on similarity, although most of you, if you've um, done grade uh, 9, 10, 11, and you've got this far, you know how to prove similarity. So I want to then look now at the reason. So all you do is you say similar triangles. So there's the, the accepted reasons. It's very quick. Now, if you are given the other way around, so if you get, if you're given a b, let's so let's say we we're given that a b is three and d e is one and b c is two, and let's say that a c is four, and then if we tripled, um, so this would be one. Uh, let's make actually let's make this different. Uh, so one will make this will make this six. Uh, so this mapping then two, and this let's make this nine, and often they don't even they don't put it put it in uh, uh, to scale. So we can see that if we triple if we triple one we get three, if we triple two we get six, and if we triple three we get nine. So these are in proportion. So what you would say would be, and this would be a proof for similarity. You would say in triangle ABC and uh, D, F, we could say that A, B over D, E equals A, C over D, F equals B, C over E, F equals a third. So we, we would use those numbers. We would see that it's a third. Then you can say, therefore, uh, Triangle ABC similar to triangle DEF. And the reason is sides of triangle in proportion, in prop. Okay, so that's this third one. We've done that in uh, blue. The first one we did in multicolors, that's this first one. Now let's look at the when triangles are in between parallel lines and they have the same base. So I've done this base in blue here. So let's call this um, F and uh, FG. Okay, so that's the same base FG. Now imagine that you drew a point to, let's make this HI. So from G to H and from F to H, you had a triangle. And you did the same. Let's do I with a different color. We'll do that in purple. Okay. 
okay? And you did the same, but to point I. These would have the same area because they have the same base and we know that the perpendicular height between these parallel lines is the same. And we actually use this to prove, so we know, we know that they have the same height, H. So if you see triangles between parallel lines with the same base, you know the areas are the same. So what we would say is the area of triangle HFG equals the area of triangle I. And I'm going to do FG in the same color on both sides. So you can see that they have the same base, the same perpendicular height that I've done in this light green color. And so we could therefore say uh, area triangle and our reason would be same base, same height. And what I want to do is just to be sure, because we actually needed to do this when we proved our um, prop theorem, uh, which was our fifth proof that we needed to know, is you also quoted the parallel lines just so that they you know. So it's not here, but I would, I would recommend that you quote the parallel lines as well, just so that they can see why you were doing that. Okay, so that's triangles done and dusted. We now are going to look at circles, the accepted reason. So we're getting a little bit more tricky. Uh, hopefully that helped. If it did, find the like, subscribe button quickly, click it, share with your friends, all that good stuff, and I will see you next time.